have Evolution Another World Special Edition. Welcome to an alternate world of wondrous creatures where evolution has taken a different path. Here, mystical places of power, the sources produce pure energy. Fascinating creatures consume and accumulate it to perform marvelous transmutations. A hard struggle ensues between those who seek to become super beings. Here are the components. Here is the extra stuff that came in the special edition that we got. One to six players, 30 minutes, 11 and up. Let's get that front again. All right, let's see what is inside. Here we have player aids for all the different powers. Double sided. One, two, three, four, five. Six, and now we have the price of power expansion double sided there ethereal creatures there's that a beastry of another world here's cub the, uh, this is nasher you can add to any game basically adds a, another opponent here's the what comes in the special edition Additional components. So as I said, all the different expansions and it increases it to a five to six player game. Little wood components and that bestiary that I just showed you. This is the rules on those different expansions. And there's all about Nasher. So here is that rule book. There's your components. Three player game setup. Round overview with the player's turn. Create a new creature, add a new trait. Diagrams of the evolution card. Step three activation, that's the only mandatory one. Gain energy. Attack, so these are the different actions you can do attack example end of round end of the game quartet mode blank cards extras evolution a series of board games here's the solo mode like that and then you have your quick reference guide on the back. Here is a sheet of stickers. Let's go over that bestiary. Flip through that really quick. You'll see it covers the animals and the gives a little story on them. Really good artwork, really vibrant. Really brings the world to life, if you will. There's that. So as I said, they had these wood bits. There's one of them. This is just a whole line of those. Here's that guy. Here are sleep tokens. You'll put these on when your creature goes to sleep. Once all the creatures are asleep, the round is over. Here is energy cubes. So we have a couple different stacks. That's the main game. These are the expansions. This is the stuff that with a five to six player expansion. And then you have your solo deck. Let me get those laid out and show you what they all look like. All right, so we're going to start with the cards from the base game. So what it is is... There's two copies of each card. So there's two pestering with fire breathing, two pestering with toxic. So you see the top's the same, the bottom's different, and the top is what the illustration kind of pertains to. So here are those cards. Then come up this way. So these are the traits you can give to your animal. 
or the back of each one is where you can put the energy. Then you get the energy from these cards. So these are your energy cards. When you put them up, you put, depending on number of players, that much energy on the card. So different types of energy counts. Some of them do get energy up top. And here is your double-sided player aid, which has the same stuff on both sides. These are blank cards. You make your own creature or to, in case any get damaged. And this is if you want to make your own energy sources. Let's get to those expansion cards. All right, so let's get started with these expansion cards. So these are abundant energy cards. So let's go down these really quick. You'll see they have higher numbers in the player counts. This one is when you get energy from here. You'll also get one from the supply and then go to sleep. Tiny. And this one's going to have you lose a trait. Now we have this expansion. And this one and this one comes with two of each card in the deck. Let's go down here. And then these ones. These are, it's I believe the price of paying or price to pay or something where basically when you use it, they something bad could happen to them. Next up, these only come as one per copy. This is the ethereal expansion. You're going to choose three of these per game. And when you have one of your animals transmutate, you can then grab one of these traits to then put on one of your other creatures. And then, not expansion related, but these are the target cards for the solo game. As such, we have one more expansion to show. It's a five to six players and epic cards. Give me one second. These are the epic cards. You can tell by that symbol. These are basically alternate art of some of the cards in the base game. So you can technically switch out some from the base game for this if you want a variety in the art. Or you then can just add them all in for the five to six player game along with a couple other additional rules to play with five to six players. Again, really cool art. Stunning, vibrant, pretty crazy looking on some of them. But that is what is inside the box of Evolution in Another World. Let me give you a brief show of how it plays. All right, here we are almost set up for a game of evolution. I am only showing one player's area. There would be other player areas out there. So the other thing you're going to do is you're going to draw an energy card. You're gonna look at player count. We are gonna set up for two players. So we take two energy cubes and put them on the bottom. You look up here and it's got a three. So we are going to put three energy cubes up at the top. We started with one creature and five cards in the hand. Youngest player decides who gets the first player marker. You're going to have your transmutation markers in a central area. I just grabbed a few here. Same thing with your sleeping tokens. Energy crystals are there. At the start of the round, each player may redraw cards once. Discard your hand and draw an equal number of cards from the deck. Then we take our turn starting from the first and going clockwise. I am just going to keep my hand for now. On a player's turn, they perform up to three steps. The first step is you can create a new creature. You can take any card from your hand, put it face down in front of you. It is now a new creature. You also can add a new trait to one of your creatures. You can look at your hand of cards, choose one of these traits, and put it underneath your creature. Put long-tailed on, like so. Now, the mandatory step is you need to activate one of your non-sleeping creatures. If all of your creatures are asleep, then you skip this step 
and end your turn. When you activate it, any powers that are when it activates, you would do. So your four choices for your actions are you can gain energy from the source as long as there is energy there. If they have a specified tray at the top, in this instance carrying, they can take energy from the top instead. However, they do not have carrying, so if I gained energy, I would just take one and place it there. And that is the end of that. They do not fall asleep. Because this one is long tail, it says when this creature gains an energy, it may lose one trait to gain one from the supply. So for instance, say I chose this one, gained energy. I could then lose that trait to gain one from the supply. An animal can have multiple traits, just cannot have two of the same. Next thing you can do is you can transmutate. If your creature has four energy on it, you can transmutate it. You discard this creature and its traits. So we return that, discard that, and then we get a transmutation token. First player to three of these is the winner. And the other option you can do is you can attack. However, you need to have a trait that does allow you to attack. So like lolling, attack. This creature may make the target fall asleep. Uh, there's another lolling. So it has to say attack on it in order for the creature to be able to attack. You basically attack a creature a valid target of your opponents, you resolve its attacking traits. For each attacking trait, you perform the attack, check the target's win attack traits. If the attack is successful, the attacker gains one energy from the supply, then the attacker may use its gain energy traits. After resolving all attacking traits, the target may use its after and attack traits, and then you put a sleep token on the attacker. Or the other option you can do is you can just put a sleep token. So basically, if you can't do anything else, you have to put a sleep token on there. Once all creatures on the table are asleep, the, and the round will end immediately. Then you perform the following steps. Energy renewal. You will discard any energy that may still be on there. You'll draw a new card and fill it according to the card. You'll remove all sleep tokens from creatures. And then you'll draw a new evolution card. You'll draw two plus one for each creature that has an energy on it. So then I would be drawing three. And then you would start again, and you play until, again, someone has gotten three transmutation tokens. So that is briefly how to play Evolution New World.